Hello fairy friends. I am back with the child here. Everyone is calling him Baby Yoda and he is just darling and he is from the Mandalorian series and I just love him. He is a um, soft uh, body. He doesn't have legs. He comes in the can the um, boxing is kind of like the shape of his little like floating little pod like his little bassinet type of thing <laughs> but um this isn't the one that speaks um i i have a, f a friend who has one already and one who is ordering one um i'm i just have to say i'm not that interested in that one because this one stole my heart um I, they got the face perfect and sometimes with the animated dolls, um, with the talking feature, the sound won't sound exactly like it. And sometimes it uh, distorts um, the facial features in a way that makes it not look as endearing as the original. So I really just wanted that sweet, just adorable, you know, you know, that hopeful, inquisitive look. Um, that the child has. So what I'm actually going to do is I've, I've seen a few people who have um, taken the doll apart and have given it um, an actual doll body and then they've dressed it. Um, he does have uh, the little hands uh, attached with zip ties same as with the head so he is real i mean he's perfect just how he is he's been sitting in my bedroom for a while um but i want to dress him up in different clothes <laughs> so um that's what i'm going to do i have taken off the uh little tan outfit that it had on and i've taken off his head and he just had a just a regular zip tie so i'm gonna put his head over here well, darn it. Okay. There. A lot of times it'll go through a lot easier the opposite way if it's getting hung up on something. <clears throat> okay. So I'm not going to tighten that yet. Just having that ready. And then here are the arms. I probably should have shown you um, just cutting those off. But what I'm going to do is um, get some thread and I'm going to just stitch that closed and we're going to remove <clears throat> remove the, the, the zip tie here So I'm just going to go ahead and throw these away and here are the old zip ties and then <clears throat> this will call for the smaller ones. And I just want to test to make sure that they're big enough and they are to reattach. Um, it actually looks like I could use a bigger one. So if you didn't have a, a selection of them, you could go ahead and use that. All right, so next step, I'm going to sew on the arms and sew on the legs. Where are the legs? Oh. And um, then put on the... So organized around here. <laughs> I can't find the legs. Okay, here's one. Now, these are a muslin, so it's not going to match. And it does look, because it's a muslin fabric, that's why it has those um, speckles in there. So, I think it will give him kind of like a little uh, froggy type little body. And like I said, it will be different color 
um, his arms are this color as will be this color as well um, but I'll always be putting a onesie on him and then he'll be dressed so it doesn't matter to me and because I don't have feet for him can't, I guess I could sculpt them if I wanted to but I don't for my purposes he's just gonna be snuggly on the bottom I'll put socks on and possibly shoes if I find something cute for him okay here he is all uh put back together and i think he turned out really well um he does still have his body that he uh came with but as i had shown it was just basically the torso with no indication of legs um at all um and the arms were just little you saw them they're just little thin um, things with the hands on it and so adding the uh bigger arms uh didn't really uh make this look weird i was wondering if the hands would then look um too small but i think they actually look uh, perfect so this can pose in all different cute ways and then his feet can too and I wait I put more uh, poly pellets he didn't really have very many so that he could have a little bit more weight to him and I think he turned out great he is really sweet uh, he's really fun to hold. He was fun to hold before, but now that he's got these little feet, he just looks more like a, a real little baby. So I'm going to have a lot of fun with him. Um, his little shirt says the force is strong with this little one. Now this set did come with a hat <laughs> and the hat had the ears. So that didn't make any sense. Plus the hat was too small uh, for his big noggin. But I really do love him. He is so sweet. And he, um, I picked out from my uh, thrift store clothes, I picked out um, a red sweater. So he has a little Christmas outfit <laughs> um, for when Christmas comes. He's, he's going to be all dressed up for Christmas. And um, I'm going to change him out. This is just like a little pajama set. I'm going to change him out of this into his cute little sweater and corduroy pants that I have for him and his cute little uh, uh, shoes that I got for him. And all of that is from the what I had gotten from the thrift store. So I'm going to do a little cute photo shoot of him uh, in his cute little outfit. So, I hope that you like how he was uh, modified. I think he turned out really great. So, you'll be seeing a little photo shoot here now. Um, thank you guys for spending some time with me, and I hope you have a magical day. Bye-bye.